My first experience with GHD, I remember it perfectly, actually as if it was yesterday. I had just gone full-time freelance and I'd set up my own private studio to do my private clients so I could kind of balance myself financially. And GHD came onto the market and I got my hands on them and I just completely fell in love. It was the most amazing thing. It was like all those things, soft velvet and, and warm butter on toast and all those things that just make you feel like this is magic as soon as I use them. I'll never forget it. God, if I didn't have GHD in my life, I don't know what I'd do. I mean, it's essential to my everyday work. My blow dryer, my platinum plus styler, my curve wands, my curve tongs. I couldn't live without GHD. I don't know what I would do, honestly. Dance floor, I on the door. I on the dance floor, I on the door. You know, right from the very beginning of my career, science was part of why I loved hair. You know, I've always loved the science of, of understanding what's going on in here. And for me, um, GHD's scientific approach to understanding how heat styling affects hair and how hair responds to it is so valuable. When I'm working with girls who are having their hair styled during fashion week, for example, multiple times a day over and over, styled and restyled and restyled, to know that the tools that I use are going to respect their hair and allow me to create whatever looks I want, knowing that I'm not doing any damage to their hair, it's just, it, it's an incredible relief. What kind of hair is Richard Kavanagh hair? That's a very good question. Actually, I've been trying to figure that out for about 30 years. <laughs> a lot of people tell me they can recognize my work and there's something in the aesthetic that they recognize. And I think perhaps that's just my weird brain or something, the way I see shapes. But for me, hair is about telling a story. What hair means to me is the ability to communicate a person's true essence who they are and how they see themselves in the world. I feel so lucky that what we do brings a little piece of joy and a little piece of magic to somebody's day.